We would like to thank Engwe for sending us this tremendous fat tyre 250 watt UK road legal electric bike and what a fantastic piece of kit it is. I've been riding around on it most of the morning just giving it a try after building it. Building it was very simple it comes in a cardboard box lots of packaging but that's not a bad thing because it comes fully protected and there's not a mark on it so it really is a lovely looking bike and a joy to ride. Now a couple of the specs on it as I've mentioned this is UK compliant it has its certificate of conformity on the tube there and there is no throttle assist it can be enabled if you wish to but it comes ready for the UK roads with no throttle assist the range on this is 140 kilometers that is pretty fantastic so you can ride this and the battery will last you depending on how much usage you demand from the battery but it will last you for a ride of 140 kilometers Imagine that, I can jump on the bike now and I could travel 80 miles, roughly 80 odd miles on that battery. I could pop to the service in Gloucester. So this is the E26 step through model. There is another variation, but it's got a higher bar up here, but the step through is easy to get on and off and it's suitable for male and female. It really is a nice, simple bike to get onto. Now the bike itself comes with hydraulic brakes a vast improvement on the previous Engways that I've had the pleasure of trying out. So they really will stop you very, very quickly. And they are a lovely set of brakes. As you can see, you've got the disc on the front, down to the hydraulics, and your adjusters on each trigger. Okay, so that will then adjust your sensitivity by adjusting it here. The handlebars do not come fixed. You have to fix them on yourself. But what I like about this one, because it's not a folding model, the folding model I had previously, you'd get a little bit of movement on the front. But because this is now fixed in place with some Allen keys, it really is quite a soft, substantial ride. Also on the front, you can see it's got this amazing light. Look at that for a light. And that's also replicated on the back with a high vision LED light, combined brake light. So you get an illuminated light and brake light with the lights on. If you turn them off, you still get the use of the brake light. So that works no matter what. The tyres are what they call fat tyres. Now these are quite large wheels and I've been using it on the grass. It's not slipped. It's a very comfortable ride. You do get road noise. So you get the 26 inch wheels and as, like I said, you do get a bit of road noise, but it performs as good on road as it does off. The other feature I like about this as well is that it's got shock absorbers on the front so it really does cushion the ride you've got these shock absorbers there you can adjust them to make them softer or harder or if you choose to you can lock them down so they don't work at all just a little lever on top and you can lock them so there's no suspension there but to be fair <laughs> i like it with a little bit of suspension it really is a comfortable bike the other feature as well that i like about it is even more for your comfort designed for the uh, heavier rider shall we say is you get a sprung saddle look at that so when you're going over them lumps and bumps it's a sprung saddle really comfortable bike to ride on that seat it's really nice really happy with that seat it's a lovely seat again one of the differences as well is that previous engways have had what they call a floating back end it's been suspended here this one isn't so if you're pedaling you do lose a little bit of effort into the suspension and movement of the bike. So the front suspension I find is really good. The suspension on here is spot on. It makes it a really, really nice, comfortable ride. You've got a saddle frame, a saddlebag frame. That will take up the 25 kilograms. And the other thing that Engway do as well, because they've got a range of bikes with similar frames, on the front, you can see here, you can add in, if you want to, another frame. So if you're doing traveling and touring, you can put a similar frame on the front and then when you add your bags, the capacity on this bike is amazing. So the bike itself, the frame, is made of aluminium alloy. But as with Engway bikes, they are a solid piece of kit and this one weighs, with its battery in place, just over 40 kilograms. So there is a fair weight, but there's no compromise in how it feels, its comfort and its performance. Like I said, on the back, you've got a 250 watt brushless motor. 
that is really smooth and it kicks in. You can adjust this. Um, this, this particular model comes with a varying range of power levels and this one has got nine different levels of power assist. That's me, I've gone into the menu and you can change it. You can have it from 0 to 3, 0 to 5 or 0 to 9. This one is on nine different modes so I can give it a full try out and see how it goes. And like I said, it really goes nicely. Now to get the battery out of this one, you need the key. So with the previous Engway that I had, to use it, you needed to have the key in place and it was dangling. I think they've moved on a little bit. This design is a little bit better. You can put the key in there to release the battery. So the key releases the battery. You need to make sure it's turned on and functioning. Then you can remove the key. So you can either turn it off or on using the key, but the key no longer needs to stay into the frame. So it's not going to get in your way. The gears on this model, it's got seven Shimano gears. And I was amazed. I took this out of the box, set it up, and the gears worked perfectly. So it's set up at factory, ready to run. There was no adjustments needed. It really is quite a slick, smooth operation. You've got your thumb triggers for up and down. Still got the plastic cover on there because it's brand new. Still got the hang tag. And then we've also got on the front, as you can see here, we've also got a display here. As you can see, it's a little bit bright today. It does your miles per hour, your levels, how far we've traveled on the bike. This has done 17.9 miles. It really has performed perfectly. You can do your trip, you can do your maximum speed, you can set your average speed. Now this particular model is designed, some bikes have got a recommended weight limit. This one will take a person uh, up to six foot five from around five foot, five foot six to six foot five and it will also take a person up to a weight of 150 kilograms. It'll take quite a fair load of a person and additional items that you might choose to carry if you're doing a, a travel. It comes with a set of mudguards which work very effectively. Again, you don't have to have them on there if you want the look of the bike, if you want to turn it more into an off-road looking bike, but the mudguards are very effective and very stable and in play. That's where your kickstand is. And then just to put your kickstand down, you just reach back, there you go, step through, off the bike done. So it's quite a nice easy dismount because there's no sort of central crossbar where you're trying to do a high kick to get off a bike. And it's not just for men. A lot of people see these bikes, including me, and think this is just a bloke's bike, but I've had great fun on this. Mainly because the saddle is sprung so nicely and it's comfortable. The big wheels make it a very comfortable ride. And of course, you've got nine levels of pedal assist. So I've had a great time. As you can see, um, Red has got it set a bit high for me, but uh, yeah, I can just about make it. Off we go. Great fun. And it was a little bit high for you to adjust the saddle. It really is quick release. Off you go. Oh, there so, we are. So you can mark it up with a bit of tape if you choose to, just for multiple users. A bit of security if you want to, take the saddle with you. You know, but uh, it really is that simple to adjust the height. The handlebars, they are fully adjustable too. So you can see, you can adjust the angle of your handlebars from how high up they are or how further forward you want them. So there is a level of adjustment in your handlebars, in your saddle, and in your shock absorbers. So you can make it suit to fit you. So as I said, the, the minimum recommended height is five foot five. So it's not really for children. It's more of a, an adult bike, clearly with the size of it. The battery itself is a huge battery. A 16 amp, 48 volt battery in this one. And to charge it, you can access it through here. So that's your charging point. So that's very straightforward to do. You can add accessories. Again here, this is for your bottle cage. What I like about this bike, because I'm into my gadgets and tech, is the display. Previous ones I've had have been uh, black and white. This one has got a lovely colour display. It tells you the level of assist and all variations of features. So I'm not going to go too far deep into it, but if you like your tech, this is a great little bit of kit for that. The adjustment for your power is very simply on your handlebars here. So that's your 
that's level nine, eight, seven. It just takes it up and down. You can see the display changing as it goes. That's your power assist mode. You've got your two buttons on the inside for your lights. So let's take it for a ride and see what it can do. Because I'm impressed, I'll see if I can impress you too. So as you can see, I'm pedalling now, it's on level six. I'm going up quite a slope and it's just kicking in so smoothly and easily. It's uh, far better than the previous Enguire I had, which was a good bike, but this one is evolved. It really is a smooth ride, it's superb. So impressed with it. If you're interested in more information on this fantastic bike or any of the other Engway products, have a look in our description and you will see a link. At the moment, Engway are doing a fantastic summer sale and they are offering our viewers up to £450 off during their summer promotion. So go and have a look.